Our big friend, Mr. Woody, Damian Woody, is here, and we have a new feature which is called Taking Him to the Woodshed. He's got some scores to settle. D. Wood, who's, who are you putting on blast this morning, Damian Woody? Greeny, this is the new segment. So I'm going to give the people a two for one right now. Okay, I'm going all New York City edition with the Jets and the Giants. And I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted because we're in the National Football League where offense is all over the league. I'm watching the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm watching the, the Buffalo Bills, the Rams. And here I am sitting, I live right outside New York City. And here I am, I gotta watch two teams that have the two worst offenses in the league. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the New York Jets and the New York Giants are 31st and 32nd in the league. They are disgusting to watch on television. <laughs> I can't even pick which one I want to watch. I am literally forced to watch disgusting football every week. We talk about the New York Jets and Adam Gates. The whole fan base was sold on a bill of goods that this guy was some offensive genius, and we know the hell that's not true because all you gotta do is turn on the Jets, and all you see is Sam Darnold throwing pick sixes to other teams, getting sacked. There's no wide receivers. The running game is awful. The Jets are just awful. And then when you turn to the New York Giants, okay, Joe Judge, who comes from the Belichick tree up there in New England. Okay, everyone knows how they do it up there in New England. Comes down to the New York Giants. You think they're going to instill some confidence and be disciplined? And all Daniel Jones is doing, he's doing the same thing he's been doing. Turning the ball all over, all over the field. And Greeny, what makes this thing so bad, so bad, the San Francisco 29ers, they're not the 49ers, they're the 29ers. They literally have half their team pass the team on the field and they go out here and spank both the Jets and Giants in consecutive weeks 36 to 7 and 36 to 9. Greeny, how is that possible? A team in the National Football League getting beat by basically the San Francisco 29ers JV squad in back-to-back -back weeks. You tell me what is going on here in New York City. Oh. I Maybe I need to get a U-Haul truck and pack up and go somewhere else. Okay, <laughs> that is our inaugural edition of Taking Him to the Woodshed. Uh, Dominique. I think we found one. So, like, I, I was <laughs> laughing because every week we got a new wood-based pun to build a segment <laughs> around. I think last week it was knock on wood. Before that, it was what would wood do. It, it's just craziness, but we found it on this one. I, I also got a new suggestion. So, while he was going off, I think I got one for next week. How about we do one called Woodstock, where D. Wood comes <laughs> on and he says, whose stock is up and whose Woodstock <laughs> is down? How about that one? <laughs> or, no, no, the no, I got one, I got one. Last one, last one, last one, last one. Yeah. What if we do a segment called Petrified Wood, where D. Wood <laughs> calls out the coaches who don't go for it on fourth down, Petrified Wood, <laughs> get him out of the league. That dude is firewood. Get him out of here. <laughs> okay. Excellent. And, and I can't be the only one who thought that D. Wood's anger mixed with him freezing all the time like that oh. makes it even better. But oh quickly, Shefty, let me try and work one serious question into this, which is that there has been a lot of noise around the Jets who play tonight against the Broncos in what can only be described as the worst game ever on a Thursday night. There is some noise that, that Adam Gase might be coaching for his job. What are you hearing coming out of there? Well, would you rather have another presidential debate, Greeny? I ask you. <laughs> would you rather have Thursday night football? So I think what's happening here is, look, are the Jets in a rush to go make a move right now? I don't I think it. so. I think, they, I think they'd rather not at this point in time. I got it. Uh, I got there's it. I got no it, reason guys. to rush to, 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 to go make a coaching change. But, look, everybody knows the pressure is on Adam Gates. I've got Jets fans across New York texting me that the Jets have to do something. And they have been a disappointment so far. They're waiting to see if there's progress. Chris Mortensen reported on Sunday that there's not only external pressure on Gase, but there's internal pressure as well. And I think every game becomes a referendum on them. And if there are more games where they struggle and look the way they have, not only are you going to be miserable, but then the change that you're talking about comes into play. Uh, we will see. Boy, this yeah, is just turned into a last thing, last thing, Mike, last thing, last thing. So tomorrow, if they lose, tomorrow we have a segment called Firewood. And Dean Wood comes <laughs> on and fires Adam Gates. How about that? That's good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.